Let's get to Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola, who addressed the media a little bit earlier on in their match against Fulham. The big question was, will Erling Haaland start? Ben Ranson has all the answers, as always. Ben, good afternoon. Is it positive news for City fans? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about all the answers, Nick. I mean, that question, we were never likely to get a comprehensive yes or no from Pep Guardiola on Erling Haaland. But the signs are very good. The club put out some footage yesterday of the players in training and Haaland was amongst them after missing not only the Champions League game against Sevilla, but also last weekend's Premier League trip to Leicester. So it looks as though he's certainly in contention. And it's actually a question of how many minutes he can play rather than if he can play against Fulham. It is much better. We will decide today it's a good step, start to, to training. And uh, now we have a training this afternoon and we will see. What do you have to consider when deciding whether to include him this weekend? He looked fairly sharp in the footage, but what do you have to consider as his manager? Himself, his opinion, the doctor's opinion. Uh, if it's good 90 minutes or just less minutes, uh, we'll see after training. And just finally, if, if he's not fit to start this weekend, I mean, Julian Alvarez would be the obvious replacement, but he will have potentially started three games in one week. Can he cope with that workload? With He's so young. He's that? so young. And that age, you can play every day. So, sounds as though certainly there's a good chance of Haaland being involved against Fulham. Updates to very small ones on Kyle Walker and Calvin Phillips, ruling both of them out. Manuel Akanji, he missed the midweek game against Sevilla as well, but he is OK, according to Guardiola today. And it was also an opportunity to hear from the former Barcelona Barcelona manager on one of his uh, former players, Gerard P. After his uh, surprise announcement of uh, his retirement, he's going to play his final game at the new Camp tomorrow against Almeria for Barcelona. A glittering career at the new Camp. Some 30 trophies he's won there, including three Champions Leagues, two of which were under Pep Guardiola. He also won the World Cup, didn't he, with Spain as well. And Guardiola spoke about him in glowing terms today, praising his character and praising him, particularly his role in the dressing room. And after making an incredible career in Barcelona, so I wish him personally for my effect to him. All the best for him and his family. And uh, I know his mom and dad, uh, incredible human being, huge personality, a player for the big games, never miss, miss ones or behave for performance not in the high level in the top top teams that is what <coughs> all the big clubs need this type of players uh, won everything with uh, Barcelona and Spanish national team and uh, yeah the time arrived for everyone and of course the future will be bright because he's a smart guy and uh, yeah it was an honor for me personally to be his manager and uh, we are spending incredible four years to get. So there we go, that's uh, Pep Guardiola talking about Gerard Piquet after his surprising retirement. For the rest of us, the answer we were most interested in, of course, was about Erling Haaland's fitness. For reference, I will be putting the captain's armband on him in FPL this weekend. Good luck, Ben. Thank you.